Hey, I got a subscriber email the other day saying, what is Chicago blues? And, uh, you know, it's interesting because I've done a little bit of, uh, I'm a bit of a historian on, on the American roots music and the blues. I actually wrote a, a, a bluesicle about it called Ascension of the Blues, but we talked a lot about uh, the great migration from the South. After the Civil War, there was a, the, you know, after the Restoration and all that, a lot of people headed north, and a lot of them were great blues players, people like Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, um, and they ended up landing in Chicago because people needed to get up to the northern cities for work. And what happened is what started out as, you know, like kind of country blues, which is a whole different feel, uh, the kind of the rhythm and the, and the intensity of the city, the big city of Chicago, you know, a lot of shuck and steel and all that kind of stuff, that energy brought into the music of the time, the Chicago blues feel, whether it was, you know... water sound or Howlin' Wolf or all the stuff that happened to Chess Records and by the way that's that's the music that actually uh, inspired the Rolling Stones if you can if you look at uh, some of their old footage they recorded at Chess Records in Chicago so the real Chicago sound is as varied as it was um, whether it was big big city shuffle kind of stuff like different styles of Chicago blues and I was fortunate enough to uh, play with a guy named Jerry Portnoy, a harmonica player who played with Muddy and he's on my first album Bad and Blue we did a we did a track together and man that guy had he had the blues feel from Chicago I lived near the Windy City when I was a kid growing up so I used to go to the Ann Arbor Blues Festival and see a lot of the great and also in Chicago a lot of the great old blues guys Otis Spann, Otis Rush like I said Muddy, Howlin' Wolf, all those guys um, and then later Etta James came, came to the forefront through Chicago. So I think every city has its own particular flavor, you know, in, in every area. When you're talking about, you know, Texas. Every area has its own sort of sound. New York, more sophisticated. But the Chicago Blues is definitely raw and intense and had a lot of a lot of street and soul and grit to it. So uh, that's just my take on the Chicago blues and, and uh, I'm, I was fortunate enough to grow up right across the lake in Michigan. So my dad worked in Chicago. So I got to see a little bit of it. I got to play Buddy Guy's Club, uh, which is called Legends. I played my version of the blues. And uh, there's, I played the Chicago Blues Festival and Kingston Mines and a lot of places. But there's still, it's still a great city for the blues. and. Uh, you know, the Blues Highway goes all the way around, around the country, and anywhere you go, you can hear different versions of it. But Chicago Blues is definitely something worth, you know, going into, diving deep into, and checking out. So I hope you enjoyed that little, little commentary on the Blues, and we'll see you down the road. My friend Jimmy has the coolest guitar lessons. Go to jimmydillon.com slash free and get all your amazing gifts. He's the best. Roll, rock and roll, stay awesome and rock and roll.